Hello everyone, in this session we are going to learn how to derive an expression for electric potential due to a point charge. First we should understand the meaning of electric potential then it will become easy for us to derive. Okay, what is electric potential? Electric potential at a point is the work done. Electric potential at a point is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point. So this will give you a hint while doing, uh, while doing derivation because in the derivation first step should be work done. Why? Because electric potential at a point is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Okay. Now we will go to the derivation part. Uh, <coughs> first we will consider a charge. So here I have considered a charge. Say this is a point charge plus Q. And I want to I want to calculate electric potential. I want to calculate electric potential at some point P. Here I want to calculate electric potential at point P. This point P is at a distance of small letter r from the point charge plus Q. Now according to the definition, according to the definition, what is electric potential? Electric potential is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point against the field. So what we have to do, but here there is a problem. What is the problem? When the unit positive charge is at infinity, okay, electrostatic force between repulsion between plus Q and that unit positive charge will be zero. When you bring that unit positive charge towards this point charge, electrostatic force of repulsion increases. So this is a variable force. Whenever there is a variable force, you have to use calculus, you have to use integration. For that, what we have to do? First, we have to calculate the small work done in bringing a unit positive charge from an intermediate point A to point B. So what we have to do? We have to consider two points A and B which are situated very close to each other. The distance of separation between them is dx. We have to calculate that work done first. Then we have to integrate between this infinity and r. Okay. So what is that small work done? That small work done. So where is this uh, point A? Let us suppose that that point A is at a distance x from the point charge. So this is our diagram. Okay. Now that small work done dw is equal to f dot dx work done is the dot product of force and displacement. Okay. Now when the when unit positive charge is here, this uh, positive charge is exerting a force in this direction. We are displacing that unit positive charge towards the point charge. Okay. So angle between force and displacement is 180 degree. Okay. F dot dx means F dx cos theta cos 180. What is cos 180? Cos 180 is minus 1. So therefore this will become minus F dx. Okay. Now what is F? What is the force between plus Q and 1 coulomb? We know coulomb's law. Okay. That is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 into Q2. What is that? 1 coulomb divided by r square because distance between unit positive charge and this point charge is x. Okay. Into dx here into dx. Now how to calculate total work done? Total work done is equal to integration of dw between the limits infinity to r because electric potential is the work done in bringing unit positive charge from infinity to this point. So we have to integrate it. Right, because this point is at a distance r. Yeah, that is equal to integration of minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by x square into dx between the limits infinity and r. Now what to do? This is equal to, we will uh, take out the constant out outside. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant, q is a constant, minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into integration of 1 by x square with respect to x between the limits infinity and r. Okay. Now, next. Okay. So, <coughs> what is the previous step? I will write the previous step here. 
work done is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q work done is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into integration of 1 by x square with respect to x between the limits infinity and r. So I can write this integration of 1 by x square is equal to x to the power minus 2 work done is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into integration of x to the power minus 2 with respect to x between the limits infinity and r. So we know an equation what is integration of x power n integration of x power n with respect to x is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So what we will do so therefore work done is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into x to the power minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 means minus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 correct now n plus 1 x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 here n means minus 2 okay between the limits between the limits infinity and r now this minus okay and this minus gets cancelled x to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 by x therefore therefore work done is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into 1 by x between the limits infinity and r we know how to apply the limits first you apply the upper limit then you apply the lower limit therefore work done is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into 1 by r first you apply the upper limit then put a minus symbol then you apply lower limit 1 by infinity what is 1 by infinity 1 by infinity means 0 so work done is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by r now what is the what is the definition according to definition okay according to the definition that we have written what is the definition of electric potential electric potential is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to the given point we have calculated work done so this itself is the potential according to definition electric potential electric potential v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r from this equation you can see that electric potential just depends on charge and the distance electric potential is inversely proportional to distance okay if the if the charge is positive electric potential is as positive if the charge is negative electric potential is negative okay so electric potential is also a scalar quantity because distance is scalar here charge is also scalar okay hope you understood this thank you very much